Hi, hola, ni hao. My name is Melissa. Join me on my 365 day challenge, a journey of focused Chinese learning. My big life goal is to be multilingual and be able to speak at least five languages. Ni hao. Today is week 44 of my year challenge. Um, 这个星期我生病了我我的头很疼 But before I talk about this week, I'm actually going to do a reverse and post a video about week 30 and then I'll do a new video for today's for this week's update. So here you go. Let's watch that video. 你好,好久不见,你怎么样? I've been traveling, and that's why this is my new video on my Chinese learning journey. While I might have missed a couple weeks here posting on YouTube about my progress, you can be sure that I've actually been practicing Chinese every day except two. Throughout my six-week trip, I just missed two days out of my practice. So what I want to do this week is just speak and share the words that I've learned and just get another pinpoint about how far I've come along learning Chinese. So far, I've learned words regarding to family. Those are 爸爸, mama. 姐姐, 妹妹, 弟弟, 哥哥, uh, 丈夫, 儿子, 女儿. Do you have all these different types of family members? 我没有, 妹妹, 我没有, 哥哥, 我没有妻子, 我有, and I've also learned words about hobbies. I've learned about playing ball, 打球, listening to music, 听音乐, 唱歌, and so many more. <laughs> it's been rough though. It's been rough learning and practicing my Chinese on the road because I haven't been able to do as much writing practice and I feel like the writing really does help kind of solidify what the words are. I've also learned about colors. I've learned how to say blue and yellow and red but right now, the only one I can remember right off the top of my head is bye, bye, and hey, hey. Hopefully I'm saying those with the right inflection, but hey is black and bye is white. So I need to review all the colors. And one of the things that I've, they've been doing on Duolingo when they're teaching me the colors is that they've been teaching it to me in different sections. So I've covered like um, buying clothes and in that one they taught a couple of colors and then there was another section where they taught other colors and so the colors haven't been taught all together. So I think what I need to do is I need to go and sit down and just look at all my notes and put all the colors in one section so that I can kind of practice them together and have like that connection. If you've watched one of my previous videos I talk about how previously I was making the connections with the section like, oh, I just learned about greetings too. And all the words in greetings too is 早安 or um, 今天, you like these specific words in sections. And I was like, that's not the right way to learn because I need to have normal groupings, not groupings based on uh, arbitrary chapter in a program. So those are some words I've learned that hopefully you haven't heard me say before. Let's see, what are some other words? 
I did learn a lot of hobby words, but I'm having trouble recalling them at this moment. Um, let's see. We've learned about being sick. Bing xiong. Bing xiong. And we've learned about health and swimming. And I can't remember those words right now, but oh well. This is a, just a, <laughs> a little update. So yeah, hopefully um, this is good. Um, 谢谢, um for coming. And 我爱旅游. 我爱旅游. 我太好了. 我们, 我的家人, 吃, 旅游. So I'm really happy that my family has been able to travel and I love traveling. Okay, bye. 165 day challenge. I started in January with 120 crowns and in March I was up to 162 crowns. And in August 1st, I'm up to 252 crowns. And these are just some charts of how aggressively I've been practicing. Just reading a few of these words that I wrote here on my practice. 喜欢, 相处, 对不起, 没有弟弟, 这个洗手间, 不客气, 姐姐, 冰热牛奶, just some more writing practice. Zai Jian. New videos every Xing Chi Monday.